Ooh, uh, oh, no rest for the wicked, it would seem. It feels like we barely got out of bed before we got roused for the second part. With the airfields and air defenses degraded, we are now tasked with the destruction of enemy forces headed for the front. The full fury of NATO air power will be unleashed upon Russian soldiers in their tanks and APCs, and we will participate. Using the good old robot Kutva Maverick, we are tasked with finding and destroying vehicles within a 15 minute time frame. I am somewhat relieved to know that this time I do not have to consider a time on target that is counted down to the precise minute. Despite the stress levels I've had during this deployment, I cannot deny it's been the experience of a lifetime. After this, there are only two missions left and I'm gonna miss the phony war in the Nevada desert. Startup complete. And then all we have to do is wait for the computer. And of course, there is the strike package, seeing how the big and notoriously easy to start up, and the other planes are not. That's one of them. Wheels up. That's one. Push. 
Dodge, push west. Uh, Dodge 1 affirm, we'll push west. Dodge 1, passing Irish. Active jamming. We're still a bit behind schedule, but that's okay. Uh, our time on target is within the time frame today, and we don't need to worry too much about being on the target at precisely that time. In fact, it would be better if we are a little bit late, so the air defense is uh, get taken down by the other flights. Dodge one, fence in. Call two, IP, running in. Looks like we have quite a few Allied aircraft up ahead clearing out the air defense support. That's good. We're gonna need that. Once we pass uh, waypoint 4, we'll prepare for our attack run. Still about 30 seconds behind, that is perfect. Alright, so our targets will be in the back of the column and not the big mass of vehicles that the Warhawks are currently hitting. Alright, increase speed to attack speed. Seem to be at least some active air defenses there at 1 o'clock. We'll better stay clear of them. Dodge 2, running in from the east. Dodge 1, running in from the east. Uh, be aware there's still some active air defenses in the area. We want to stay clear of them. Deploying countermeasures. Max clicked. Target group not yet identified. Wait, what's that? Colt 1, defending Sam at bullseye 083 for 11. Target group identified, engaging. No joint, no joint.
Wingman, you are clear to engage as well. Watch the defensive fire come from that uh, convoy. Target's hit. That's some good hits on the target. I say again, good hits on the target. We're heading out. It is often said, or rather it is the express goal of Red Flag to provide the 10 missions that will give a pilot the experience and the confidence to survive a war. And I'm starting to feel that right now, because <clears throat> this mission went off pretty well. Uh, considering that we had a time frame to work with, I decided that this time it is far better to just be late. And we managed to avoid the rather tempting trap of these uh, units here that uh, were supposed to be bait for the A-10s and the F-16s rather than us. And we quickly localized the targets that we were supposed to hit on the perimeter of the convoy itself. So, while we took some fire from uh, machine guns, they didn't have anything worse than that, and we could easily set up an attack run. Dodge 2 also hit their targets pretty, pretty easily, and uh, we made sure that uh, we split up for the attack run. I chose to do my attack run from a low angle, just in case the Sam's close by got frisky. But uh, my wingman came in from the other direction, uh, engaged the target, 
and uh, everything turned out for the best. Of course, we managed to find ourselves completely unex uh, uh, completely exposed here with incoming MiG for the ones who even launched, but it turned out they were launching against the F-15s, so it turned out all right in the end, thankfully.